a very good morning to my dear students hope you all are well i harita malani working as an assistant professor in electronics and communication department of mlb textile and engineering college bilbara today i am delivering my online lecture on subject fiber optic communication which is in third year 6m of electronics branch today i am delivering my online lecture on topic electro optics which is till now we have discussed various couplers its applications multiplexers demultiplexers now we are today going to be discuss electro optics which whenever we consider electro optic it means ki we need a conversion from electrical signal to optical to transmit optical light in communication system so electro optic switch is basically an active component till now we have discussed all the passive components so it is an active switch so we will start with electro optic switch traditional switch that connect optical fiber lines are electro optic they convert photons from input side to electrons internally in order to do the switching so what they are doing they are converting photons from the input side to electrons internally in order to do the switching and then convert back to photon on the output side here we use different uh, micrometer ranges so 1.3 micrometer electro optic switch silicon based optical switches have been fabricated which rely on refractive index change induced by injecting minority carriers multimode rays 2 cross 2 structures are fabricated using epitaxial silicon and diffused homo junction the first evidence of 1.3 micrometer optical switching is observed so now we will study various types of electro optic switch so first i will discuss the passive y junction beam splitter it is a type of coupler but to design electro optic active switch i will require this passive y junction beam splitter so first i will discuss that then we will continue with electro optic switch so first is passive y junction beam splitter so this is this is used where equal power division of the incident beam is required where it is used this passive y junction beam splitter is used where equal power distribution of incident beam is required see this is a structure having y alphabet we all know light input the fiber core with refractive index n1 n2 are the cladding refractive index so light beam will incident it will be equally divided or equal power division of the incident beam will takes place and we will get two outputs okay so this is passive y junction beam splitter a passive y junction beam splitter fabricated from is shown in figure so next i will study the passive y junction beam splitter finds application where equal power division of the incident beam is required clear however the y junction is of wider interest when it is fabricated from an electro optic material in which case it may be used as a switch so when we are converting this as a switch y junction beam splitter when it is fabricated by using electro optic material then we can use it as a switch such material exhibit a change in refractive index del n which is directly proportional to an applied electric field e following the equation so this is the basic equation of refractive index change in del n is equal to plus minus half n1 cube small r e what is n1 n1 is the original refractive index and r is the electro optic coefficient so next we will discuss active y junction electro optic switch so active y junction can be fabricated from a single crystal crystal electro optic material so what we are doing here we are using electrodes which to which we will provide a biasing and which is on the which is managed near the optical fiber so that is my active y junction electro optic switch so metal electrodes are attached so that when biasing is applied one side of the waveguide structure exhibits an increased refractive index while the value of refractive index on the other side is reduced the light beam is therefore deflected towards the region of higher refractive index see we are applying biasing due to which the refractive index profile changes so what happens the line beam is therefore light beam is therefore deflected towards the region of higher refractive index causing it to follow the corresponding output arcs so depending on the higher refractive index region the beam will follow that path 
clear next furthermore the field is maintained in the electrodes which extend beyond the junction ensuring continuation of the process so this is the diagram of an electro optic y junction is it clear so these are my this is my light input this is my optical fiber these are my metal electrodes which are placed okay biasing is provided and this is my y junction channel where we are diffusing lithium niobate and this is my output so electrodes are placed so it is an electro optic active switch so the light beam will be reflected more where the electrodes are placed and where the biasing is high the refractive index will change accordingly the output will change the output waveform will change next we will discuss regarding this only with switching voltage around 30 volt these devices prove to be quite efficient allowing for larger junction angles to be tolerated than those of the passive y junction optic material beam splitter as illustrated in the figure however a physical length of several hundred wavelengths is still required for the switch so how much wavelength is required several hundred wavelengths is required these devices therefore serve the function of optical signal routing in addition high speed switches can be used to provide time division multiplexing of several lower bit channels on the single mode fiber link i can use this switch for tdm also okay but for that i will use single mode fiber link so is it clear next i will discuss electro optical switch directional coupler we have studied in detail the directional coupler topic we all know it very well what we mean by directional coupler its uh, construction its diagram we know everything so here we will discuss the switches may also be fabricated by placing two parallel strip wave guides in close proximity to each other as shown in figure i will show you that figure also we report the fabrication and testing of gallium arsenide electrophoric directional coupler switch in which the fraction of light coupled from wave one wave guide channel to the other can be controlled by an applied electric field the evanescent fields generated outside the guiding region allow transverse coupling between the guides now we will discuss when there are two amplitudes when the two wave guide modes have equal propagation constant beta with amplitude a and b as shown in figure then the coupled mode equation may be written as so this is the diagram of electro optically switch directional coupler input light beam it is coupled to this input light beam is traveling to this these are my electrodes this is my coupling region len this is again one of my fiber input output coming from these are two wave guides x and y electrodes are placed positive and negative so wave guide will travel along it will be coupled you can get output at y or at x so electro optically switch directional coupler so the equations are da by dz two wave guides we are considering a and b with amplitude a and b and having propagation constant beta so the coupled mode equations are written as da by dz j beta a plus j c b db by dz is equal to j beta b plus j c a where c is the coupling coefficient per unit length assuming no losses all the energy from wave guide x will be transferred to wave guide y over a coupling length l is zero next we will discuss the stepped delta b reversal coupler switch it is very easy here we are using two more electrodes in the diagram to both the sides in electrode structure which avoids the problem faced by the previous electrophoric switch by dividing so what we are do doing here we are dividing the electrodes into two halves with opposite polarities on each half is shown in figure with this device with this device which is called the stepped delta b reversal coupler it is always possible to obtain both the matched and mismatched cases described previously by applying suitable values of the reverse voltage so this is my diagram of stepped delta b reversal coupler switch couplers are divided sorry this electrodes are divided in two halves positive and negative two wave guides are there so the signal will flow very easily and you can give our get output through this switch so today i will wind up my topic here only if you are having any doubt any queries you can ask and students please study this topic write down some important points draw the diagram